missing values now in this series of video we will learn how to treat the missing values available in our data sets or data frames this will be a series of couple of videos out of which this first video is going to be focused on drop any function of data frame in this we will take under consideration these three data frames these are named as dna dna2 dna3 dna is nothing but drop na so if you see the difference among all these data frames are not much if you compare the first two data frames the major difference is in city in the first data frame we have kept it all missing in the second one we have all values not all we have the values why is that so that we have kept for different context to show you different context in which we will be using drop any in the third data frame we have kept fewer columns that is again for a specific context hello everyone welcome to the channel learn area to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon here we have three data frames created let's have a quick look on each of these data frames the way we just show on the board if you see this is the first data frame which is dna this one is the second data frame which is dna2 and this is the now we will be using each of these data sets to show you the examples of different conditions where we can use drop any these are the context which we will be learning in this tutorial so first exercise which we are going to do is drop rows with at least one missing elements so if you see in the instructions it is saying to use dna2 why is that so why is that so let's see here it the problem statement is drop rows with at least one missing values so here we have eight rows now we need to find all of those rows which has at least one missing value for example if you see here this has one missing value this one also has one missing value if you look at this this does not have any missing value sixth number row so we need to keep all those rows which does not have any missing values so let's try that so first you need to write the data frame name then dot and then you need to say drop na and put a parenthesis operator nothing else just hit enter well now here we have three records third sixth and eighth this all does not have any missing values or any value so this is how you can use drop any to remove all those rows which has even one single any values let's move forward and look at the second problem statement the second problem statement which we have is drop columns with at least one missing elements it is going to be same but it's just here we dropped rows and here we are trying to drop columns let's try that how can we do that so for that we're gonna say here it is recommended to use dna let's first have a look at dna table so here if you can see we have one column which has, which has all na value right and now here the problem statement is drop columns with at least one missing element let's try that so if you see each of the column has any value it's just gender column is something which does not have any value so when we use this syntax you do this exercise we would be only left with this variable let's try this first let's see what happens drop any and in the bracket you're gonna say access equals to either you can say columns or you can say just one and then you're gonna say how there is the method how do you want to remove this all right how do you want to remove 
the any values so here we just need to say any which is a default value even if you don't say that it will work please bear with me for all of this background noise so this is how you can drop any column which has at least one missing values let's move forward and look at the third statement the third statement says drop rows with all missing values now here it is recommended to use dna2 data frame in this we need to remove all those rows which are entirely blank so if you see at row number seven and at row number four only these two rows are something which are entirely blanks rest of the call rest of the rows has values so let's try this how can we do that again data frame name then you're gonna say drop na and in that you need to say how and that we're gonna say all so you just need to pass on the how parameter and in that you will need to say how do you want to remove the t any values so it just remove it just removed all those rows that is fourth and seventh where the rows were completely blank let's move forward and look at the next problem statement here it says drop columns with all missing values now and the suggestion is to use dna variable dna table so here if you say why is that so because in dna2 we don't have any variable which are completely blank so here if you see this ct column is entire right so this is why it is suggested to use DNA table. Let's see how can we do that. Drop NA and in that nothing much just like previous one we have to use drop NA but this time we just gonna specify the axis and then how parameter and in that we're gonna say all. So like you can see that CT column is removed from here because that was the only column which was entirely blank now let's look at the next problem statement here it says keep only the rows which has at least n non missing values let's see here it is recommended to use dna3 table dna3 let me show you that table quickly so for example let's say if you are working on some modeling task you would not you you want to keep you have numeric variables and you want to keep all those variables let's say you have four variables and you need to consider three variables out of this but how would you like to pick that so for that you can use drop any method and for that there is a parameter which is called thresh so in that you can just supply not trace that is sub just a moment you can just click on drop any and hit sh uh, shift tab and in that you can see so like you can see over here thresh parameter in the thresh parameter what you're gonna say is let's say i want to have those columns i want to have those rows where at least three non-missing values are available all right let's see if this works fine all right so these are the rows which have at least three non-missing values so gender column was completely non-missing but we had the differences in these three columns so if you see over here these are completely non-missing if you see over here this column has non-missing but one two and three these three columns these three values makes it eligible to come in the filter same happens over here so this is how you can use the thresh parameter to filter those rows which has at least n number of non-missing values this this is specifically useful when you are preparing the data for modeling and that has many missing values and possibly you want to uh, let's say you have seven set of variables out of which you want to pick at least five variables which have at least five non-missing values right so in that scenario you can use this example now let's look at the next problem statement 
here it is suggested to use dna2 data frame so in that let me show you a quick let me give you a quick view right over here the problem statement is drop rows where specific columns have missing elements so for example if you see this data this is based on invoice id which is an id variable so if you see if id is missing there won't be any use of that particular column in our data set if that's going to be completely based on gender thing right you want to make a decision of gender and if that is missing somewhere you won't have any use of that so till now we saw the example how can we remove rows and uh, columns on a broader level now what if you want to be specific to some column names how can you do that so for that you're gonna say drop na and in the parenthesis op operator you need to use the parameter or argument subset and in that you need to put the list of all those columns which you want to remove let's say invoice id and then i am going to say gender and in that you can just remove it you can just put that over here so in invoice id you don't have any rows where the na value exists where na value exists so that won't be useful at all for you right so you would like to keep only those records which on which you don't want to compromise at all so there are certain very important variables in your data frame and when you are preparing uh, the data for modeling then you would like to take decision on those variables and here in our case those variables were invoice id and gender in which we were it was not acceptable to have any missing value and that's what i did over here so this is how you can use the drop any feature to remove missing values from your data i just hope that i was able to explain drop any functionality just in case if you have any kind of doubt or any of these concepts were not clear to you please do not hesitate to put that into the comment section i'll try to clarify that over the comment section itself until then i would suggest strongly recommend repeat this practice 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 and i will be providing you the link for all the data frames which i have used in this example as well as the script happy learning and all the best